Welcome back everybody, today we're doing another ARC GPU video and this time we're going to go to Wukong because almost everyone is going to show the benchmark with the 1060, 6GB or any other card than the ARC so I'm going to do the ARC part for everyone. Welcome to Response PC, I'm Dunk, let's game on. Traditional quick disclaimer, I'm doing the benchmark tool of Wukong that just came out, not the game itself. When the game is out, I'll redo this uh, video and the real minimum requirement and the proposed minimum requirement. But for now, let's do the pen, the benchmark kit tool. With obviously nothing running in the background and no junkware. And you will see through this video, I'm probably going to have two video, two benchmark running side by side. One with XCSS and one with FSR. You'll see later why. Our card will be test with the i3. 12100F, 16GB of memory, beside the A770 LE, which is in my editing system. We're doing the test at 1080p, and we have XCSS on the left and FSR on the right. At the lowest settings, XCSS give us 36 FPS, and FSR, which we don't know which version it is, give us 52 FPS. So in this specific case, the FSR from AMD give a better uplift uh, performance for the ARC GPU instead of XCSS, which we don't know which version is either. We also get a warning after the benchmark saying that uh, detecting the low VRAM benchmark result may significantly differ from actual gaming experience and are for reference only. We already know that the benchmark is only for reference and the uh, gameplay will be different but uh, we have low VRAM. Let's see when the game comes out and we try again. Jumping to the A380. This is a 6 gigabyte card like the minimum requirement of the GTX 1060 6 gigabyte. You'll see at the end when we get the results we don't have anymore the warning say that we have low VRAM. We're playing again at low settings and as you can see XCSS is lagging behind FSR. XCSS give us 44 FPS and FSR 65 FPS. So we have the first win for the ARC GPU at the 60 FPS. Over 60 actually. So this is the first card that we can deem playable. So the, all the other upward will be playable also if you play with the settings. But we are at low settings right now. And as you can see at the end of the test, the FSR give us the 65 FPS but also in green. So I guess their target is 60 FPS to play this game. It's not explicitly um, demonstrate that it's a 60 FPS their target, but with having it in green on the screen, I can assume this is what they were targeting. Since I had a good result with FSR and uh, low settings, I decided to try the A380 at medium settings with FSR. This gives us a decent, uh, I say, benchmark, but probably going to be different when you're playing uh, in-game. Sorry, it will definitely be different in-game. And we have a 48 FPS, so expect more drop because we went as low as 25 FPS. PS on the benchmark at medium settings. I will say stick to low settings with the A380. Jumping to the A580, a 8 gigabyte card. Didn't have any warning obviously for the VRAM, uh, low VRAM. And this time I add TSR for the upscaling as a test, a quick test. That's the only clip I had uh, made with the TSR to see the difference. But since it's exactly the same result as FSR, mm, plus minus uh, some FPS, I decided that it would, will be the only video with TSR, only clip with TSR. We are still at 1080p, but this time we're at medium settings. And again, XCSS is lagging a bit behind at 56 FPS, but it's getting closer to the 60 FPS to be comfortable and be in the green from the benchmark tool of uh, Wukong. As for FSR and TSR, both give us 92 FPS, sitting well in the green highly playable from the benchmark tool. Now jumping to the Intel Arc A750, Elden Ring Edition, cranking the settings to high instead of medium. Still at 1080p, we still have FSR ahead of XCSS with 77 FPS versus 47 FPS for XCSS. And even if you drop uh, to medium settings while using XCSS, you don't even get 60 FPS, you reach 59. You don't even pass at medium settings. So if you have an Intel GPU and you want to play this game, use FSR, not XCSS. And finishing the test with the A770 L E edition, we have XCSS at 30 FPS and FSR at 59 FPS, but now we're playing at 1440p high settings. So even at high settings 1440p, FSR, you won't even reach the 60 FPS. Is either this game high demanding or the Intel Arc GPU are not uh, good enough for that game. I won't even dare to enable ray tracing. And if you absolutely want to play at 1440p with the Intel Arc, you better drop the settings to medium and maybe some high. But everything at high, you barely pass 59 and probably going to drop even more when it's a real gameplay. But that's what the benchmark tool gives you. And sorry for the boring visual. That's the only video I can get from that game for now. I hope that was uh, helpful for anyone who's uh, owning an ARC GPU or looking to get one. That's the result for a AAA game that is coming in a couple of days. 
Thanks to have come watching. See you on the next one.